and welcome back to my channel my name is Sean thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos there are loads on this channel and they're all kind of different so I'm sure you'll find something that you like this video is a video I film every year it is a letter to my daughter just because it's been her birthday recently and I've always written this on my blog since she was tiny and I kind of think it's a really nice way to look back at the year and to see how much she's grown to see what her personality is like now and hopefully for her to look back on when she gets a bit older as well so I hope you enjoy this right here we go dear beautiful girl I love you more than I can even begin to tell you even when you absolutely infuriate me by winding me up or doing something you know you're not supposed to you do seem to have a way of not necessarily getting away with things but negotiating your way into getting what you wanted in the first place I'm not sure if I should respect that or if I should be just kind of ashamed that that's what happens but sometimes you, you do manage to get your own way even though I've said no the year of being six has been quite a momentous year for you and you've changed so much this year you've even started to like pink have a look around the bedroom you chose you chose this wallpaper yes there are other colors in there but there's definitely some pink too you've started playing with kind of more girly toys obviously you know that i hate that saying toys are just toys but before you never played with anything pink you refused to play with dolls you wouldn't have anything to do with any of those toys and this year you've really kind of embraced them and <laughs> I say that looking at like all the random things like Shopkins or Sylvanian families or Playmobil or Trolls or Sum Sums there's so many of these random little collectibles that I genuinely thought we'd got away with you not wanting but seemingly we didn't and they're now rather a large part of our lives however you play beautifully with toys be it tiny little things that you can just play with in your room you even said to me the other day that sometimes if you haven't got anything to play with you just pretend your fingers are characters and I just thought that was brilliant you have such a wonderful imagination you can make anything into toys you know sometimes you'll play with knives and forks at the table or anything like that but you do need time to play as well you need space from us from your brother and you need to kind of process things and I think you do that whilst playing so for you play is incredibly important and it's lovely to see that you can play you are also so artistic some of your creations just blow me away they are absolutely amazing recently we went down to the Tate London and whilst you weren't particularly impressed with the modern art in there you had to choose an artist to research for school and you chose this artist and not only did you do the research but you then painted a canvas which was a copy of his work and it was just brilliant I just love that that artistic side of you is there and also that you like to draw what you can imagine as opposed to drawing what you can see if that makes sense so I can't do that I like to draw what I can see in front of me and I'm really really not good at drawing anything that I can't see so I love that you have this amazing artistic talent that is just something that clearly didn't come from me and um, I'm pretty sure it came from your daddy because he is very artistic and is able to just draw things so I think that it's it's just lovely that you have that and that you will sit and just create it doesn't matter what you're creating but you will create and you can do that for hours absolutely hours which is just lovely I appreciate I'm saying lovely a lot in this video and I'm sorry about that I am immensely proud of you for the way you succeed in karate you are now an orange belt which is amazing that's your fourth belt it was your fourth belt in pretty much exactly a year of going to karate it's something which you're quite passionate about whilst you like to pretend that you don't necessarily enjoy it you definitely get a lot from it you had four medals at your Christmas party this year and one of those was for the best behaved in class and for me that was just incredible it made me so emotional that you were the one who received that award because as you know your behavior was one of the reasons that we kind of sent you to karate in the first place because we thought it might help you with discipline and self-control and it really seems to have 
and I get so much it's it's kind of a random one because when I go and watch you doing karate and you're like throwing people on the floor and then punching them in the stomach I'm not sure I should feel proud but I really really do it feels like something that I shouldn't I don't know I, I, I kind of feel wrong feeling proud of that but at the same time I just think wow we found this thing that you are so so good at and that you enjoy and that is all yours your brother doesn't get to do it at all he has his own sports that he does and I love that that is something that you do and that you do so well this year we have had some problems with friends which I'm not going to go into on here needless to say that you have handled it with grace and kindness and that is the best thing you could possibly have done and if they can't forgive you then that's that's their problem and not yours you are an amazing little person and you have the kindest heart that I've ever known you're always willing to give away your own things so that someone else will be happy and for me that you know that's amazing and it's an amazing trait to have and I just think you're absolutely wonderful and you will find your friends you've got a really nice group at school yes there are a lot of girls and yes you do clash sometimes because you're all quite strong personalities I do think that you will find your group you'll find where you fit and it might not necessarily be where you thought it would be and the problems there have been this year with friendships really shouldn't have happened so you have done all of the right things basically is what I'm trying to say I guess and you accepted responsibility for what you had done wrong and you apologized and that is something I hope you take with you into being an adult because that's the best thing you can do and you also forgave them for being mean to you so yeah I'm not going to dwell on it because it's not a particularly nice thing to dwell on in October we went on a family holiday without daddy because he was in Vegas and you came up with a wonderful plan where you and your brother were going to be nice to me because you knew I was going to find it harder with it just being me on the holiday as opposed to all four of us but you were just lovely and I loved how that week with you and your brother made the three of us really really close we learned things about each other we supported each other we helped each other and we also had a break from each other but it was just lovely that you kind of sat down and said right come on we've got to be kind to mummy because she's going to find this hard and I think that really sums up your personality you are amazing you have such an active imagination and it's wonderful you've written stories you've illustrated Harry Potter which JK Rowling even liked on Twitter which is insane you've just done so much this year and you've grown so much as a person and I'm so so proud to be your mum and yes there are times when you drive me insane but it all is worthwhile when I come and check on you at night and you're fast asleep and you just look so serene so happy so peaceful and I just can't quite get my head around that my baby is seven years old oh, I love you I absolutely adore you and you carry on doing what you're doing because you are going to grow up to be one of the most amazing women I have ever ever had the pleasure of meeting and I will be so proud that you were, are mine basically I love you I love you so much and yes here is to being seven and seeing what seven brings us and I'm looking forward to it love you